We have Adam and now the latest developments. Town leaders from Merrimack and here in Litchfield are now working with the state to figure out just how big of a problem this is. Preliminary test results have found that PFOA was in the man-made chemical was in some Merrimack and Litchfield wells. PFOAs are commonly found in non-stick pans and stain-resistant carpeting. The Environmental Protection Agency has not set an enforceable drinking water standard for PFOA, and the effects of long-term exposure are unclear. The New Hampshire Department of Environmental Services began investigating a few weeks ago after St. Gobain Performance Plastics found low levels of PFOA in four water samples at its Merrimack facility. Now the state has decided to provide bottled water for people whose wells have more than 100 parts per trillion of PFOA. And in Litchfield, so far one family has two wells that have been affected. One of the wells was used for watering of uh, livestock and that well contained the most. That was right down by the river. The other well was in the house and that also contained uh, levels of PFOA. Anytime we receive any new information, we're going to be posting on our website. Um, we we'll use our Facebook page to try to get information out as well. And state and local officials will have public meetings next week to discuss the results of those water tests. You can find those details on our website at WMUR.com. Reporting live in Litchfield, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.